Hi, this is Teresa Jackson with a quick tutorial about glyphs in Photoshop CC. Some fonts offer character variations. Photoshop's Creative Cloud makes it very easy to take some text like this and then create something fancier like this. Both versions of the text were created with the Typekit font Spumante. You can find these character options with Photoshop CC's Glyphs panel or with the On Canvas Quick View Alternatives, which is available for some fonts. Go to your Photoshop Preferences Type and double check to make sure Enable Type Layer Glyph Alternates is checked on. I wrote my name here with the Typekit font Lust script. I like the font, but it can be even better. And with the On Canvas Glyph Alternates, if I select the first letter, this will pop up and show me the other options. I like this T um, better than the original. And I'm going to see what's there for the H. I like this H. And I'm going to go down to the A and choose this option for the A. Commit these changes. And I think you'd agree this looks so much nicer than it did originally with the default letters that come with this font. I'm going to select this letter A again. This triangle here at the bottom will take you to the Glyphs panel, and there's even more options there. So I'm going to click on that, and it'll open the Glyphs panel. And right now it's displaying just the alternates for this selection. But if I change this, I can see the entire font. Everywhere that you see one of these little boxes in the corner lets you know that there are more options available for that letter. Many fonts contain symbol type ornaments which can be found in the Glyphs panel. If you select here where it says entire font, I'm going to go down to symbols. And I like this symbol here. Actually, we'll put this one down first. I want to click in the middle of my document here. And then I'll double click in the Glyph panel and that'll insert that ornament. I can double click here to add another one. Then I could come down here, if I hold my Shift key down and click, that will take the insertion point out of that text layer. And then I can add a new insertion point down here and add this character and then this one next to it. Let's close this up and see how that looks. Commit that. If your name is Jesus and you want it to be read as Jesus instead of Jesus, then you need the letter U with an accent mark. I'm going to go to my Type tool, select the U, and in the Glyphs panel, I'll find several options of U's with an accent mark. And I'll double click on this one to replace the original U that was there, and then commit that. The characters shown across the top of the Glyphs panel are the most recently used. I can go to the Options panel, drop down here, and clear Recent Glyphs, and that'll clear that out. The bottom of the panel here, you can control the size of the characters that view in here. This takes the overall size up. And this A with a downward arrow and A with an upward arrow control the scale within the box. So if I scale this up, it can scale up to a point that they're not legible anymore. So some fonts fill this space differently than others, so you may need to adjust this up or down. You can change the selected font and view other font character options here. So if we change to Adobe Castle Pro, we'll see that there are a lot of glyph alternatives as well for this font. Make sure to explore the glyph panel alternatives for your next typography design.